Welcome, my friends, to a place where we share inspiration and positivity. Thank you for choosing our video on Chimula people. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. The Chimulas or Etenica are an indigenous people in the Andes of northeastern Colombia. Their Chimula language is part of the Chibcha language family, of which there were estimated to be around 1,000 speakers in 1998. At the time of the Spanish conquest, the Oregon River Valley was the strategic center of their territory. On the Serenadale Bridge Mountains, the Yupas were also part of the Chimula Confederation of Tribes. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the fascinating world of pre-Columbian era. At the time of the Spanish colonization of the Americas, they were established in most of the Caesar River Basin and its valley, including Valdupa in the Caesar Department between the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta and the Serena del Bridge mountain ranges and bordering the Magdalena River. A Chimala cacique at the time of the conquest lent his name to the city of Chimicaga, Colombia, while another, Upper, lent his name to Valdupa via the Spanish Valley of Upper. The Caesar name of the Caesar River and Caesar Department is an adaptation from the Chimala indigenous word Chetza or Zozarcom water into Spanish, in reference to the Caesar River. There were two major cities in the region, one was called Famar present-day Tamalamaqua and the other was Apari named after their powerful chief, the Cacique Upper. The Spanish scribes described Famar as a very large city with more than a thousand huts. The Chimala society was structured in a pyramidal structure with a working class divided into fishers, hunters, artisans, miners, goldsmiths, and merchants. The Chimalas used Ahokos as their slaves. The Chimalas believed in an immortal figure called Marsogata and Womanifist believing in the god Narajana also referred to as Yao. Chimalas were practiced musical rites with drums of many sizes, flutes with a tip made out of wax ferrying in between two and five holes, imitated the singing of the Rufos vintage Chachalica birds with an instrument called Guachaca and Moroccas. The Chimalas cultivated the maize in a technical manner and to a lesser extent other local species of vegetables and fruits for consumption and certain trees near their huts to produce its shadows and freshen their area. Chimulas also harvested the Gynerium sagetitum, a cane used to produce bows and arrows. Get ready for an exciting exploration as we unravel the mysteries of conquest. Around 1720 the Chimulas began a guerrilla war against the Spanish Empire. Violence continued well into the 20th century. In 1990 a reservation called Issa Oristina was created. Have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos? Let me know in the comments.